for posting your programs and your work in this class is we're going to create essentially an online portfolio and this online portfolio uh, is going to be stored at uh, pbwiki.com so uh, if you just type in pbwiki.com I think you'll get there I guess maybe they're calling it pbworks.com it's the same thing this is their home page so when you get there you're going to want to create a an account on their site and um, they've got the academic solutions button down here you can just click that academic solutions button and then you're going to want to click on the uh, free the basic option here you want to click on that basic option and click on that free one and select that and they're going to ask you for a name for your address here. That has to, of course, be unique. I would say just use your first and last name here, .pbworks.com, or your first and last name, uh, CIS122. That would work also. Or CIS122, first and last name. Or maybe CIS122, first name. But uh, why don't you get your name in the pbworks.com address field there. Uh, then click that it's for uh, education use. And uh, click the I agree that it's uh, non-commercial use only. And uh, click the next button. The next thing they're going to want to know is who can actually view your workspace. Um, I would like you to click only people I invite or approve. And then you're going to invite me to uh, view your workspace and um, maybe I'll have you also invite Jesse Stewart uh, my teaching assistant for the class but uh, we can talk more about that later also who can edit you only want to just leave it on the only people I invite or approve click on the I agree to the PB works terms of service and then click take me to my workspace Essentially, this workspace that you see here is the first page of your wiki. And they've preloaded the first page with a whole bunch of stuff just to help you get started. You notice there's a 30-second training video. There's the PB Works manual and so on and so forth. And I'm going to do a real quick tour here of the PB Works environment. For starters, You'll notice that uh, you've got your various uh, toolbar across the top here. It tells you who you are, you're logged in, and tells you which of your many uh, wikis you might be in. I'm in my CIS-122 student wiki, and um, I have this view tab and this edit tab. So now if I would like to, I can edit this page, which I'm about ready to do, and uh, put whatever I want on this page. So I'm going to go ahead and click the edit button. And you'll notice that I've got all this stuff on there, and I'm just going to go ahead and change it to uh, welcome to uh, my CIS-122 portfolio. And maybe I'll put my name there so that if somebody else is reading this page, they know whose portfolio it is. And then I'm going to delete the rest of this stuff. Now, before you delete it, you might want to take a look at the PB Works manual and the 30-second training video. But right now, I don't really want any of the rest of this stuff, so I'm just going to delete it. And I delete it, and I then click the Save button, and there's my home page uh, for my portfolio. Now, if I wanted to, I can put any text I wish on this page, and, um, and uh, I would suggest that uh, maybe let's go ahead and start with a link to an introduction page. So to create a link to an introduction page, I'll show you what we do. We just hit the Edit button because we want to edit this page. And I'm going to click right after my name here, and I'm going to put in the word introduction. Um, maybe I'll say about me, you know. And I'm going to select this text that I just typed. And I'm going to hit the add link button. Now add link is going to give you a variety of different options, but the default option is to give you a, a new PB Works page and it says new page but you could link to uh, you know a variety of different things here but I'm just gonna link to a new page and it says what do you want to call the page and it picks up the name uh, for the new page from the text that you had selected so I'm gonna go ahead and just let it do that so I'm gonna click OK so now I've got this brand new uh, link to this new page I, I just hit the Save button 
And there's my link to my brand new page, and uh, off we go. Now, at this point, of course, there's nothing on that new page. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that link here on our home page, and we're going to have that brand new page. So it says name your page, and I'll just go ahead and leave it with the name it's got. And I'll hit the Create Page button. And there's my page. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll type my name here. And I'll just say a little bit about my background. My background, G-R-O-U-N-D, and whatever I might want to say. So at this point, I'd like you to actually create this page and uh, put a little background on there. Tell me about what courses you've had in computers and if you've had any background experience with programming. And, uh, and just tell me a little bit about yourself, maybe why you're taking the class. Um, what kind of uh, computer you've got at home maybe. Do you have broadband at home? I hope you do if you're going to do this online class. Um, what do you see yourself doing in a few years? Do you think you'll do more programming in the future or maybe you'd like to? So please just uh, put something on that background page. Um, this is just like a regular text editor so you can you know set the text to bold, set the font size bigger if you wanted to. Um, you can also uh, you know put in uh, graphics and things like that. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So once you've typed in uh, some background about yourself, um, hit the Save button, and there's your background page. Now at this point, how would I get back to my home page? Well, you're kind of staring around here looking at this, and you're going, hmm. Well, if you just click this Wiki button right up here, it takes you straight to that front page. Now can I, can I change the title of this front page? Well, let's just see if we can do that. Um, let's hit the edit button and you'll notice right up here next to the title of your page there's this little button right here that says rename this page so let's just click on that and we'll just call it uh, home I just call it home and hit the rename button and now it's called home and uh, we have a, a, a page here so let's uh, let's just create a practice page and uh, and do some various and sundry things on the practice page now at this point, uh, to add a new page, of course, I just do the same thing I did a minute ago. I hit the Edit button, and I'll click down here, and I'll hit the Enter key, and go down a blank line, and I'll say Add a Link. And I'm going to put in a brand new page, and I'm just going to call this uh, Practice. And let's just call it Practice with... PB works, so not practice with programming. So I click OK, and now I got my new link, and I hit the Save button to save that page. So there's my new link, and of course it doesn't link to anything yet until I click on it. So I click on it, and the name of the page, Practice with PB Works, works for me, and I hit the Create Page button, and here's my practice page. So let's just see if we can stick a graphic on this page. All right, um, let's find a graphic. Well, if I'm looking around on this page, you'll notice way over here to the right, it says Images and Files. So I'll click Images and Files, and uh, you'll notice that there's an Upload Files button here, and there's an Insert Image from URL. Well, I don't have any images here yet, so let me just hit the Upload Files button. And there's a picture of Steve Jobs with the iPad, so I'll go ahead and hit the Open button on that. And it uploaded that, and it shows it to me. You know, I just hover my mouse over, it shows it to me. And let's just uh, go back over here, and we want to click that link. And there's the picture pasted right in there. And all i got to do now is uh, hit the Save button. So I hit the Save button, and it's saving, and voila. There's my brand new page with the uh, Save button. Just ignore this bar at the bottom down here. That's a script blocker I have on my computer. So that couldn't be any easier, could it? So let's go back to our wiki. So we just hit the wiki button. So now we have the introduction page about me. We have the uh, I hit back. We have the practice page. Uh, I'll hit back. That couldn't be any easier, could it? So what else can we do with this? Well, we could create a page that puts a little bit of code on the page. Let's see if we can do that. Um, well, actually, I'm almost out of time here for this video. So create your PB Wiki. Um, put an introductory page on it. Maybe put a practice page on it. And you know, put some graphics and some text on it. And then we'll talk later about how to actually put code on a page. All right.